So this one is for the hips, particularly if you've just come back from a run or a cycle. So I hope you enjoy. Come onto your hands and knees. Just start with a couple of cat stretches to begin with. So you're gonna inhale up. Exhale, undulate through the spine, press into the hands, feel that stretch through the upper back, inhaling up. And exhaling, press away. Tuck the toes under, lift up and back into your downward dog. Spread the fingers. You can bend out the knees, you can walk out the legs a little bit. Just start to ease out through the lower back. Just start to release any tightness through the hamstrings, the lower back, the lower calf, the Achilles. Up onto the tiptoes, back down into the heels, up onto the tiptoes, back down into the heels. And then from here, I just want you to lift up your right leg all the way up as far as it uh, feels nice to go. And then pull it over as you start to open up through the hips and the psoas. If it feels nice, you can start to look up under the armpit, start to really find a bit of a spiral. If your standing leg is right up onto the tiptoe, really try and press it down to intensify the stretch through the hamstring. And then if it feels appropriate, you can straighten the leg, maybe take some ankle rotations, otherwise you stay here or here. Straighten up that leg, point and flex the toe and then place it down. Take the other side, so you're gonna reach the leg all the way up to the ceiling. If the foot has risen off the floor, try and really press it back and down to intensify the stretch. If it's okay, you can start to spiral Find that lovely opening through the hip. Try not to deviate too much through the shoulders. Your shoulders are square and strong. It'll mean you can't uh, turn as far, but it doesn't matter. You're feeling that strength in the foundations of the pose. Straighten up the leg if it feels nice. Take some ankle rotations if that feels appropriate. Straighten up the leg. You're back in your downward dog. Up onto the tippy toes, back down onto the floor. Up onto the tiptoes back down onto the floor. So the first pose we're coming into is lizard. Look forward, step your right leg to the outside of the right hand, drop the left knee to the floor. So I want you to bend right into the front knee. Don't let it overshoot the ankle like this. You're bringing the foot forward and coming forward into the pose. Some of you who are more flexible, come down onto the elbows. Less flexible, just staying here and then feel what feels appropriate. Some of you, it will feel good to turn the toes towards the top right-hand corner of the mat. Some of you, it might feel good to roll onto the outside edge of it. So feel what feels appropriate for your hip. Sometimes it's nice to actually physically roll the hip outwards. From here, if you're good here, bring your right hand onto your knee and start to spiral. So again, you're spiraling through the very center of the body. Close the eyes, relax your jaw, relax your face, your forehead and breathe with every exhalation, finding a bit more space. As you keep that left hand planted, maybe some of you might even choose to pick up the left foot. Push the foot into the hand if you are doing so. Try and drop down into the hips and turn. The jaw is still relaxed. The tongue is still relaxed. The face is still relaxed. The eyes are relaxed. Press into the foot, open your chest, arc the back a little bit if it feels good. Release the foot. Hands are here, or some of you may still be here. Just rock back and forth. If it feels appropriate, maybe some little circles. And then placing your hands down wherever you are. We come into the other side. So just pressing back, take a child pose. Marinate in the feeling of what's happened in the right side of the body for a moment. Just let it settle. Drop the forehead down. Coming up onto all fours. Before we take the other side, we'll just neutralize a little bit by coming back into our dog pose. Breathing in, breathing out, and then looking forward and taking the left leg to the outside of the left hand. So if it doesn't quite get there, don't be shy to just help it get there. If the knee is overshooting the ankle, then adjust it. If it's easier for you to have the back foot as a rudder tucked under, that's fine, otherwise lay it flat. Your choice, onto your elbows or stay on the hands, turn the foot out on the outside edge. Wherever you are, you're feeling a deep sense of opening in and around the groins, the stomach and the hip. Turn the hip out, maybe start to spiral the back, maybe pick up the back foot and take that lovely deep opening of the chest, the hip. 
try not to feel any compression here in the lower back so you're really not dumping into the lower back there's a sense of opposition power power length and length lovely release the foot if you have it coming back here little micro movements either on the elbow or on the hands you can even pick up the back knee rock back and forth really working into any tightness in and around the hip flexors coming back now so you bring your self back into your all fours position we neutralize with a little downward dog all the way up and back lovely our next pose is pigeon so bringing your gaze forward bring your right knee to the right elbow lovely transition working the core you then bring your right knee down flex the right toes and feel right on top of your hips so you're right on top of the hips so the weight's going down through the hips the hips are square then pad your hands forward and come forward into this very deep hips hip uh, hip opener so once you're here if it feels too much on the knee don't bring the heel too far away from the groin you can have it really tucked in for some of you with strong knees you can bring that angle of the shin really parallel with the front of the man over each other the heels are out to the side so if you've got quite tight hips keep those heels right in towards the sides of the bottom if you're quite open in the hips then you can work them away if you've worked them away but the, it's too much sit on a cushion or a block or two take your first two fingers around your big toes roll the shoulders up to your ears and back breathe in smile breathe out some of you may choose to come forward lovely the variation here for more experienced people is that you're lifting up your left hand dropping it down between the shoulder blades and taking a monkey grip this is your full cow face pose you inhale and you exhale it's deep in the hips it's a lovely release across the lower back and obviously the triceps are getting a deep stretch too whatever position you've chosen is perfect you're working predominantly into the hips so if you feel that by getting the hand you're tightening up in and around the hips leave them off place the hands on the toes and take it like this breathing in and breathing out a couple more breaths here breathing in and breathing out come right over the legs anything that you find helpful you may find it helpful to physically roll the hips out and come forward again just releasing out all of the running or cycling energy the other sport that you've just been doing just let the hips respond and melt and come back to yourself coming all the way back up so to come out you're going to come back into all fours position and just take the other side so if you want to take a couple of cat cow stretches in between that's completely nice and normal you might want to shimmy one shoulder at the other shoulder then you're going to bring the left knee forward squeeze it over the right open the heels i'll turn to you once again so you can see and then sit down in the space so you may have been able to do it on one side but not the other just listen into your body sit on a block if you need first two fingers around the big toes pull the heels as close or as far away from the bum as possible or needed inhaling exhaling find the pose that's appropriate it may be with the monkey grip so here's your cow ear exhaling keep the feet flexed so your knees are safe listen into your knees if ever you're feeling a little gripey in the knees stay where you are I'm just going to show you the variation some of you may find it more helpful to take it on the back in the thread the needle version so do what feels appropriate for you when you're ready take your last breath here in cow pose release and come out so now we're all back on our all fours hands are spread inhaling exhaling tuck the toes under and glide up and back to your downward dog position float the right leg up towards the ceiling bend the knee spiral see if there's a little bit more space in the right side of the body 
straighten the leg if it feels good keep looking up under the armpit if it feels nice and then straighten up the leg place it back down to the floor check the left side lift it all the way up towards the ceiling rest that right heel down point the toe <sighs> feel the breath bend the knees spiral 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 look up under the armpit and then straighten out the leg long leg long back long arms place the hand the feet sorry the foot back down to the floor tailbone is high well done drop the knees to the floor point the toes away press all the way back into your extended child pose drop the forehead down and breathe feel the hips simmer and settle lovely final pose here you're going to come all the way back up come all the way to be on your knees if you've got tender knees just pad them up with a little padding or put your jumper under your knees toes tucked under hands across sacrum roll the shoulders back and down open the front of the body squeeze the shoulders in towards each other and then from here both hands at the same time if you want more bring your hands to your heels as you push the hips forward try and make sure the hips remain over the knees from here if it feels good to do so you can lower the front of the feet onto the body if it's okay for your neck you drop the head back reach the heart forward drop the head back if it doesn't feel good for your neck here look along the front so just keep looking forward so feeling the front seams of the body open the front of the hips open so we're working into all compartments of the hips breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out and then sit your bottom down coming into child pose hands behind you and rest you can stay here as long as you like your hips should be singing open and released hmm. namaste